What is up guys, it's Razor, and the new a new archetype was released on YGL Pro known as Orphigal. They are dark machine monsters and they get effects in the graveyard. So, basically what you want to do with this deck is dump them to the grave, get their effects, and go into their link monsters. A lot of people have been using this archetype on YGL Pro, so... I haven't actually dueled this deck yet, but it looks pretty good to me. Um... Uh, they're probably going to get a lot of mirror matches more than likely because there's been a lot of people playing this archetype so but let's go ahead and jump into the deck here so this is actually a world legacy world scepter so it's not actually an orphigal card but it helps orphigal monsters so this double summon or set card cannot be destroyed by battle with a monster that was supposed to summon from the extra deck Okay, and it has bon it has two effects. If this card is sent to the grave, you can spell summon one World Legacy monster from your hand. Okay, that doesn't really matter, but it has another effect. You can banish this card from your graveyard, then target one of your banished Orphigal monsters and special summon it. So that's what you're going to be doing. You you get back. Let's say you banish one of your Orphigals, you can get it back with this card, and you can also. Uh, 
ditch this card to spell summon Dark Graffer from your hand. So that's another reason why I put that in here. Oh, and you can't spell summon monsters for the rest of the turn except Dark Monsters. So that's one of the hindrances of the deck. If you use their effects, you can't spell summon monsters except for Dark Monsters for the turn. So that's kind of a drawback of the of the deck. Next up we got Dark Ruffer, so you can spell summon from your hand by ditching a level 5 or higher monster. And you can discard a dark monster to send one from your deck to the grave. And that's generally what you want to do with this deck. Send your monsters from your deck to the grave and get their effects. Get their grave effects. Alright, next up we got Orphagol Diver. So you can banish this card from your grave so some Orphagol Monster from your deck. Except itself. Except itself. Except itself. If I could speak correctly. Next up we got Armageddon Knight. So it ditches a dark monster to the grave. Next up we got or Orphagol Scheiser Zone? Scheiser Zone? I don't even know how to say that. Scheiser Zone? I think that's how you say that. But anyway, you can banish it from the graveyard and target one Orphical Monster in your graveyard. Accept itself and accept itself and special summon it. Ash Blossom and Ghost Ogre because they're great cards. Hand traps work very well in this deck. Next up we got Orphagol Cannon. So you can banish this card from your graveyard and spell summon one Orphagol monster from your hand. And then that's it for the monsters. For the spells we run, we got Lure Darkness. So you can... Most of the monsters in this deck are dark. So you just draw two cards, banish one of them. And with the Orphagol Link monsters, you can get them back. If they're banished, you can get Orphagols back to your deck. So that's very nice. The deck has its own recyclability. Next up we got the, one of the best cards in the deck. Orphagol Prime. So you can send one World Legacy or Orphagol Monster from your field or your hand to the grave. To draw two cards. On top of that you get the Orphagol's effects in the graveyard. So not, not only are you going to plus two on certain monsters. Or... I don't know, you're going plus one, I mean. You're also going to get a effect for one of the Orphagol's effects in the grave. So, special summon one from your deck. So, basically, you'd be going plus two of this card. Really good. Okay, so actually, this is a plus one. My bad. I don't know why I was saying plus two. I forgot that trade-in trade is a a neutral card and this is like trade in you go neutral or trade in but you thin through your deck and all that stuff um, but with this it's a plus one because if you have this if you ditch this you get one from your deck so it's like a plus it's a plus one um, yep that's the only one that you get plus one from I guess, um, special summon one from your graveyard. I guess that's a plus one, too, if you have one in the grave. So these two are plus ones. So that's summon one from your hand is not really a plus one because you're not really gaining any advantage. So, so that's a plus one with this card and this card. Next up we got Pod Desires. So obviously an amazing card. Called by the Grave Stop Hand Traps, of course. Orphagol. Orphagol Einsatz, I think is how you say that. But then anyway, if your opponent no more special summon the monster, you can send an Orphagol. Or you can take an Orphagol from your Orphagol or World Legacy from your deck and banish it or send it to the graveyard. So that's pretty good. 
Next up we got Orphigal Babble. So this card will allow you to activate your Orphigal Link monsters and your Orphigal monsters in the graveyard during your opponent's turn. That is really good effect. And you can also get it back too if it gets destroyed. Next up we got Infinite Transients. So this card could be used during your opponent's turn if they go first. And you can stop a monster effect of course. Great card. For the extra deck we got Tristula because Orphigal Cannon is actually a tuner. So if you use two level fours and Cannon you'll be able to go into Tristula. We got TG Wonder Magician that's for Needle Fiber. Baguska because there's level 4's in here. Castell level 4's in here. The boss monster Orf Orphigal Orcestrian. So this link card cannot be destroyed by battle or card effects. You can target three of your banished Orphigal monsters, shuffle them into the deck, and if you do, if your opponent controls any face up link monsters, change their attack and defense to zero, also their effects are negated. So it's like a super boss monster, pretty much. Very good boss monster for the deck. Bore load, Boral Sword, obviously. Orph Orphigal Long Longinus. Oh, Longiris. Orphigal Longiris, I think that's how you say that. This link card cannot be destroyed by card effects. You can target two of your banished Orphigal monsters, shuffle them into the deck. Then you can send one link monster your opponent controls to the graveyard. So, pretty good effect. Next up we got Summon Sorceress. Great card for this deck. Next up we got Orphigal Galatea or Galatea. I don't know. Galatea, Galatea, I don't know. This link card cannot be destroyed by battle. You can target one of your banished machine monsters, shuffle it in the deck. Then you can set one Orphigal Speller Trap directly from your deck. Very good card. And then we got Needle Fiber and Apprentice Magician since there's a bunch of dark monsters in here. Some of the other Orphigal cards are this. Once per turn you can banish one Orphigal. This is Orphigal Core by the way. Uh, once per turn you can banish one monster from your field or graveyard then target one Orphigal or Legacy card you control. It cannot be targeted by card effects. And then if another Orphigal card or legacy card you control will be destroyed by battle or card effects you can send this to the grave instead I decided not to run it and then there's Orphigal attack which is basically a dimensional prison for the deck so when any player monster declares an attack tribute one Orphigal or world legacy monster then target one monster your opponent controls and banish it So it's not a bad card, but I decided not to run it. Dimensional Prison's not very good. So, I don't think it's worth running in my opinion. But anyway, this has been my the new Orphigal deck profiles and duels. I want to thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for the next deck that I post. I post a video every day, usually. So stay tuned for tomorrow's video and later.